Hey there, Eric here for Music Gear Network. In today's product unboxing series video, we're going to be taking a look at the Helix Floor Case with Wheels, part of the G Tour pedal board series from Gator Cases. Let's have a look. Before we dive in, I'd like to thank our friends at Gator Cases for sending us this case today. I'm really excited to get an in-depth look at it along with you. All right, let's unbox this thing. Carpet knife out, I'm gonna dig into this thing right now. Be careful, I don't wanna to cut too deep into it. I mean, it is aluminum and all that other good stuff, but I didn't wanna cut and scratch it. Okay, I think we're probably done with the knife for now. Packaging is nice and safe. Oh, it actually looks like a box inside of a box. That's that's quite nice. Maybe not. It's just a cardboard uh, top topper, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's cool. All right. This is nice. Okay, we're gonna tip it on its side a little bit. As you can see, I love the red. We'll talk about those uh, twist locks in a moment. Do like my old days in electronics, flip it upside down and lift it much easier. Get the box out of the way. So it's not in our, our camera shots. Everything looks good so far. I, I absolutely love the red accents on the handles. Sturdy, sturdy. This is great. Okay, let's get some of this debris out of the way. We don't have this in our shots. Okay, so I'm gonna try and face this to you. Okay, visual inspections right off the get-go. Everything looks absolutely perfect. I couldn't ask for better. The wheels on the bottom, let's have a quick look at those. They're uh, very smooth. Feels like almost like a skateboard wheel. Like very, very smooth. I'm on, we're on carpet here right now. Very, very smooth. I like that. So let's do a full 360 look at this thing. Let's have a look at the weight. Doesn't feel that bad at all. All right, let's have a look and see if we can open this baby up. Now I may need, looks like I may need, okay, I was gonna say I might have to cut, that's just a, a tag, I don't have to worry about that, to cut that off. All right, so let's have a look, we'll spin it around this way. We'll take off the twist, twist latches, all right. We've got the same thing on the back. I love the red, I really do. Okay, one more. That's the lid portion here. Helix is gonna sit down in here. So I'm going to unplug one of the Helix uh, floor models I have here right now. And we're going to gently set it down inside here. And then off to the side, as you can see here as well too, we've got room for uh, power cables, USB cables, and things of that nature. Maybe even a, a small guitar cable, that kind of thing. All right, so I'm gonna turn off this Helix floor over here. Just gonna unplug it. And I'm gonna try and turn it a little bit this way here so we can get the shot of it. All right, we're gonna drop it in and see how it fits. It fits nice there. Okay, and I'm just gonna have a look to see how the uh, unit would fit back on top. Latch it back down. Latch it back down. Same thing on the back side. Very secure latches, I mean, very solid. Okay, so I'm gonna stand it up. So there we go. Solid, very solid. All right, so now we're gonna take it back out and we're gonna see if we can hook up the cables on the back of it as if we are going to um, perform with it on stage. All right. And let's put that down on the side just so we don't ha have it tip over and hit a guitar. Okay, so let's spin it around this. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep it this way here so we can show you 
the cable. So this, which is, which is really nice here too, it's raised enough that you can get all your, your guitar cables in here, uh, your L6 link. I'm just gonna reach out of camera frame here for a second and grab a couple cables. I normally use wireless, and I have a Line 6 L6 link digital cable here as well too. So let's just pretend in the grand scheme of things, I'm going to run this out to my power cab amplifiers that you, uh, you see off to the side there a little bit. And that's how I like to run. So we'll look for our L6 link, which is right here. And this is one thing I was very concerned about. I was uh, uh, worried that the, the jacks and the cable and all that kind of stuff would be in harm's way to, you know, to like, you know, putting strain on either the, the jack itself or right inside the helix and they're not. So that's pretty darn cool. So we can do the same thing with the guitar cable for our input. So you can picture running this off to your amplifier. We've got a 50 foot cable here. I'm gonna use our imaginations for now. All right, and guitar input, which is right here. Not in harm's way whatsoever. I'm putting some physical weight on the Helix right now, and I'm not seeing any stress at all on the jacks, and that is something I really think is very important. There's gonna be no damage to your internal components of the Helix. All right, so now we've played our gig. We're gonna wrap everything up, pull up my L6 link, pull up my guitar cable. We're gonna put the lid back on. Almost got it perfect the first time. Bring down our latches, twist down, latches, twist down. We'll spin a rama for you. Nice Gator Cases logo there. I think the red is a really nice touch. It really is. Okay, and our wheels are on this end. See those wheels? And we're gonna stand her up. And there we go, this is absolutely awesome. The weight is not that bad, I can carry it in one hand. I probably wouldn't carry it that way, I would probably carry it this way, or I'd roll it. But there you can carry a guitar in one hand, you've got your rack and your helix in the other, and it's, uh, you know, you'd be balanced off very, very, very well. Gator cases. And there you go, I love it. Well, that about wraps everything up. We hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. We'd love to know what you think of the case, so please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you haven't yet subscribed to us, please do so right now and turn on all post notifications. And you have my personal guarantee that we'll work just as hard to keep you as a subscriber as we did to get you as one. For pricing and more information on the case, visit GatorCases.com, and if you look in the description down below, we've provided a convenient link right to the case. A big thank you once again to our friends at Gator Cases for sending us this case today. For Music Gear Network, I'm Eric Broadbent, and until next time, cheers.